Pochu is a family business with three generations working right now. It includes my grandparents, my parents and myself. The signature dish consists of ang ku kueh and sun kueh. And some of our other customers' favourites are the bakers, glutinous rice, yam cake and feng kueh. This business was started by my grandparents back in 1985. My grandma and my grandpa were the ones who came up with the recipe of ang ku kueh and sun kueh. They started making and it was well received by our family and relatives. So they thought that it might be a feasible business. Back then, they were selling illegally on pushcart. It was quite tough because the authorities were quite strict. So they moved on to Boon Lay, Bedok Food Centre, then Jalan Kayu, Yu Chu Kang, and lastly, we end up at Bukit Merah for the past 25 years. Back then in my primary school days, my parents would bring my sister and I down to the shop. My grandma would be the one who brought us into the kitchen to teach us how to wrap the kueh. So as time goes by, me and my sister learn more stuff. And during Chinese New Year, both of us will be down to help out the business. I took a break when I was serving my national service. And I only came in midway through my university days because my grandpa was sick. So I came in and I learned from him. So slowly, my grandpa passed on the responsibility to me. I'm very thankful that my parents and my grandpa has always been very supportive of my decision to come into the business. At times when I'm forgetful, they will remind me of like what I should look out for. And at the end of the day, they will also remind me that in order to do better, I have to put my heart and soul into the business, into what I do. Pocho started with five flavours, mainly the peanut, green bean, salted bean. These three are the traditional flavours. And we also sell durian as well as coconut. As time passes and trends are changing, uh, we will also like to attract the younger crowd. Developing with more interesting flavours, we also hope to provide more variety. Part of what we are trying to achieve is to integrate the traditional recipe as well as the interesting new flavours that consumer may like. Most of our processes were handmade, except for some process we use machine instead due to the labour intensity. So for example, our angkukwe filling, we will use a machine to cut the filling into equal size. This will also increase the precision of the weight of the filling. The skin as well as the wrapping. Still uses hand. Uh, this is so that we can better control the quality and the texture of the skin. For me, I feel that what is required to make a delicious kueh is of course uh, to have patience to learn and uh, it requires a lot of experience when it comes to handmade kueh. Once in a while, customers will give us some positive feedback saying that our kueh are very delicious, the skin is very cute and it suits their liking. But to us, we feel very happy when we hear these positive comments. My grandparents and parents' dream is to see the business grow to a household brand. For me, I personally hope that Angku Kueh is not seen as an offering to the deities and ancestors. I also hope that our Angku Kueh can be a dessert on every table. Hi, my name is Jerome and I'm the third generation of Pochu Kitchen. 